This is a story about a young couple, a very young couple, who have more love than money, a lot more. They live here, at the top of this walk-up. But just to show you how love conquers all, take a look at what a winter of evenings and weekends has done to some very unpromising space. Jack and Jill, we'll call them that, it's not their real name, moved in when it looked like this. Jill knew that planning was essential if she was going to make every penny count, so she and Jack spent many hours searching for information, studying the ideas other people had developed. The plan was simple. Room divider here, making this area cozy for conversation, music, TV. Dining here, when there were guests, by adding leaves to the table here. They had all the furniture they actually had to have, except sofas, which would double as beds. But Jack Red said it was easy to do it yourself, so he decided to give it a try. After all, he had nothing to lose. Hey, Jill. He never saw anything like it. Jack combined steel wool and burlap and finished the job in jig time. While Jack took paint off, Jill put it on. In fact, she became expert in the so-called French provincial finish. First, you spray on gold paint. Allow gold paint to dry overnight. Then, drag flat white paint across the gold in such a manner that gold streaks show through the white paint. You can use a brush or a sponge. For sofas, they decided to build platforms on which they would place foam mattresses. She learned to paint and she learned to sew. At least, she learned to sew well enough to make slip covers. And the beautiful grain of walnut shone through. Who could have ever covered such beautiful wood with paint? This piece really deserves the full treatment. He brushed the finish on with a clean two-inch brush. Then apply a second coat. This coating was the greatest. Easy to apply, impervious to stains, really great. The addition of interesting hardware was the crowning touch. The door had to be covered with something. So Jill used the same green hammered satin of the draperies and finished the edges with braid. They really got a bang out of working together. It was such fun to see something turn from ugly duckling to swan in the space of a few minutes. In fact, they got such a bang out of it, they began to spend a lot of time looking for bargains. This was fun too. A pedestal with interesting lines. An inlaid box that had lost part of its inlay. Each had potential, the challenge was to bring it out.
the evenings of work were beginning to pay off. They'd spent under $100 for interesting pieces with potential. They'd sharpened their eye for good lines. Most of the pieces were worth five times their cost after Jack and John uncovered their true beauty. The apartment has an individuality that it could never have had with new furniture. It has the stamp of their personality, their tastes, and their ingenuity. In fact, their ingenuity has developed to such a remarkable degree that now making something new from something old is a hobby that pays off in wonderful gifts or in new arrangements. Sometimes even a sale at a handsome profit. There are many books available on refinishing, 